All right, what's up everyone? Uh, today I decided to film video, which I uh, usually missing and forgetting to film or whatever. I'm asking questions like probably already fourth time or even five times already and not posted uh, the video. Uh, so I asked the questions. Uh, I asked to leave comments and questions uh, dedicated to my channel or directly to me. So I will just read the uh, questions and answer them. Uh, Matya Trost asks, uh, can you do a video about your time in MVD and about equipment that uh, you used, uh, your experience, opinion uh, with that equipment? Uh, that would be pretty interesting. Uh, also, why did you leave the army? Um, I had such ideas about my loadouts uh, uh, during my service and actually um, probably I did something or uh, discussed it uh, about uh, I talked about it uh, in uh, some uh, discussions in Northern Pact or something else, but uh, no videos uh, made about it yet. So I will do it definitely. And uh, the reason why I left, uh, well, because uh, literally the uh, service in the Russian army is equal to slavery, and uh, you are unable to serve. Uh, for a long, long time, because it's uh, equal to uh, degeneracy, and you are not uh, going further uh, and forward. You just um, became in the dump and have no uh, goals in life, because many contractors are fucking dump and limited. And I decided that it's not my way in my life, and just left. And another. Uh, reason why I left is somewhere here <laughs> so I guess uh, it was enough for answer the next one uh, Chris Cooper uh, asks, I'd like to see more real steel airsoft themed content, please keep it up in your reviews, uh, as, like I, uh, as I like hearing your opinions. Thanks man, and yeah, I will do, I will continue with that, and uh, you will see the reviews of such cool stuff like, like this one, many of you know what is it, so I will keep it for next review. Uh, next, uh, David, uh, sorry I can't uh, normally read your uh, last name because Slovak names pronounced absolutely different so I don't want to uh, read it incorrectly but uh, the dude uh, who uh, was one uh, who was in one of my videos uh, posted pretty recently about the K12 Max he played airsoft here uh, and he asks, uh, could you do a video about workout, muscle training, tips, also food rations uh, connected with this? If you did, if you did it, then sorry, somebody please post the link. Um, mm, that's pretty good question, but I uh, post in the workout uh, videos, but without tips for newbies and uh, others. I thought about uh, such. Uh, uh, themed with uh, videos, but uh, mm, uh, I have no time probably for that, uh, or it's not very interesting uh, to others, and uh, my videos barely getting like 200 views uh, when I have over 2,000 2, uh, subscribers. Uh, even if I post something really interesting, and if I post something about workouts. Uh, such videos getting uh, under 100 uh, views so it's like not reasonable but i will uh, leave like posts to ask you ask your opinion about uh, some uh, sport related stuff and probably i will uh, keep with doing such videos so the next uh, doug zanis 
uh, asks reviews of Chechen war uh, come like VSR 93 and their uh, effectiveness uh, how do Russian soldiers can flash their rifles a review of real Dragunov uh, well I can say that uh, real uh, uh, Dragunov rifle is nearly impossible to get but uh, I can easily get the civilian version which uh, differs like in uh, some really minor parts like uh, only the barrel lungs or something like that or even some uh, civilian uh, Tiger rifle uh, could uh, be made from uh, military uh, SVD but uh, it's not so easy so probably i will review the uh, civilian version of dragunov and will shot some on uh, shooting range uh, that's it uh, about uh, how the camouflages were effective uh, about vsr 93 and vsr 98 i already thought uh, to film the video uh, and probably will do it in this year uh, probably uh, in the nearest future because also was thinking about it uh, the next uh, Andrew Blackmore uh, asks I'd like to know more about growing up in Tomsk uh, it's pretty fun because uh, each time I visit in Tomsk I film in some videos about Tomsk about its history I did it like four or even five times and posted like only five percent of what I filmed because uh, uh, in some cases I forget to post it in some cases I just lose or waste the footages and uh, it's uh, pretty cool that some of you are interested to see that but I will definitely uh, film with exactly there where I grown and tell some stories about my hometown because it's pretty interesting for uh, many of you to see some things about my Siberian uh, hometown and my home exactly uh, so for now that's all questions I got uh, thanks uh, these five people who asked questions and I guess uh, some others will find it interesting too uh, and you can leave your questions if you uh, late with uh, asking questions right now in the comments on this post uh, you can ask them uh, in the comments on YouTube uh, and I will try to answer them uh, somewhere in the next video so thanks for watching bye